Uh, Congress President Malkarjun Kharge has just finished meeting with the two chief minister hopefuls of Karnataka. Mr. Siddharamaiah just left a few moments ago. Earlier it was DK Shivkumar. Let's go across to you first. Ankit tracking all the developments at Mr. Kharge's residence. What's the latest? Sonia, let me bring you up to speed with uh, the latest piece of information that we are getting at this moment. No announcement on the name of the Chief Minister today. That is what the sources in the Congress party has confirmed to us. We have been told that the announcement will take place tomorrow. The party is still thinking whether it should be in Delhi or the announcement should be made in Bengaluru. That's what the party is still thinking. Now to the next important thing, uh, who could be the Chief Minister of uh, Karnataka? At least officially no name will be announced tomorrow, but uh, important leads coming in. Observers have told Mr. Malikarjun Kharge that Mr. D. Mr. Siddharamaya enjoys the maximum support as far as the MLAs are concerned. But Mr. D.K. Shivkumar is not giving up his claim. In fact, in a meeting which lasted between Mr. D.K. Shivkumar and Mr. Malikarjun Kharge for 45 minutes, Mr. D.K. Shivkumar is believed to have told the party president that uh, if, if he is not made the chief minister, he is okay with the third choice, but not Mr. Siddharamaya, who has always been powerful in the party ever since he has come into the party fold, becoming the chief minister and also the leader of opposition. Meanwhile, uh, Mr. Siddharmaya's and Mr. Kharge's meeting went on for uh, more than one hour, 25 minutes. It was a very long meeting. There were a few MLAs, those who had also uh, come here with Mr. Uh, uh, Siddharmaya, but uh, it was a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the party president who hails from Karnataka, understands the caste dynamics and the equations as far as the leaders are concerned. Uh, I'm also being told by party sources that uh, there is at this moment, despite a letter being written by the Lingayat community demanding a chief minister from their party, some supporters of G. Parmeshwara wanting him to be the chief minister, only two names in contention, that is D.K. Shivkumar and Mr. Siddha Ramaya. Uh, the party top brass also has expressed there was a meeting of Mr. Rahul Gandhi, K.C. Venugopal uh, at this residence of, of Mr. Malikarjun Kharge in the afternoon as well. They also seem to have gone with the uh, theory that whosoever has the maximum numbers should be made the chief minister. But what could be that formula where DK Shivkumar is not un uh, left unhappy? That is something that Mr. Malikarjun Kharge is now trying to find out. Right. And in fact, it's interesting. You look at those pictures on the screen right now. It really is the Congress's three tallest Karnataka leaders. So in that sense, Mr. Kharge having a much more political clout because, of course, besides being the Congress president, he's also from Karnataka. So he knows the state intimately. But DKS, the youngest there at 61, showing that he doesn't want to wait. And he feels the time for that generational change in the Congress is now. So, Sunil, over to you. Because, of course, you got that big exclusive with DK Shivmar yesterday where he made his displeasure very, very clear at first saying he's not coming to Delhi, then coming tonight, uh, coming today, and making it very clear to Mr. Kharke that he's not willing to just uh, let it be handed over to Mr. Siddharamaya. So this option that Ankit is saying that uh, he's saying anyone else against Siddharamaya, except Siddharamaya as chief minister, is that a possible alternative that it will be a third candidate or as uh, Ankit saying it's just these two and the uh, Congress high command will decide? Well, I think, uh, Sonia, firstly, I must uh, say I spoke to the observers and they are quite clear, uh, one, that they have, uh, that uh, Mr. Sidharamaya may have the numbers, uh, but Mr. D.K. Shivkuma uh, is not giving up without a fight. He's quite categorical. He's worked hard for the party and it's his, it's his time now uh, to be rewarded. Uh, about a third option, he's, he has not said that. He's still very determined that's only him uh, that should be rewarded and within the rank and file in Karnataka, uh, most of those Congress workers have been quite categorical that he should be given uh, that job. Uh, about that decision, uh, you know, to be taken and uh, the, the announcement, uh, please remember it is the Congress Legislative Party which will formally, uh, uh, you know, have a meeting and unanimously decide who the Chief Minister will be. Of course, it will be cleared by the Congress High Command and the observers as well as the uh, General Secretary in charge will be there uh, present when this is announcement will take place. Uh, it all depends whether Mr. D.K. Shivkumar relents. At this present juncture, as of 8 o'clock, he hasn't still given up and he will continue to contest for that top post. Numbers but, Sunil, or no just numbers. just make that point, when you're saying that you spoke to observers and the majority of the MLAs are with Mr. Siddharamaya, then on what basis can uh, Mr. Uh, Shivkumar say that he should be chief minister? In fact, it's interesting because that's the argument in Rajasthan also, right? Because where Mr. Gelot said that the MLAs are with me, why should a younger challenger get, get the top post? So wh on what basis is Mr. Shivkumar claiming 
top post if the majority of MLAs are with Mr. Siddharamaiya? Well, it's uh, it's more complex than that uh, because here you have the numbers, and there have been various occasions uh, in the Congress Party where even if you don't have the numbers, the high command, uh, especially when you have a massive mandate, can look at a long run. Mr. D K Shivkumar uh, has been saying that he brought the party to uh, power. He's worked tirelessly uh, and uh, been working uh, day and night to bring the party to where it is, uh, and he believes uh, that somewhere down the line uh, the party needs to reward him. Uh, numbers or no numbers, and uh, uh, these uh, numbers, uh, and, and they, if you have seen the dossier that they have given uh, to the Congress High Command, they have put their view across. Yes, Mr. Sidharamaiah has been more popular. Everybody concedes that he has been a, a, a person who has been uh, requested to, you know, campaign across the state. Uh, but at this present juncture, uh, they want uh, to really find a way forward, and uh, that will be. Uh, really requires Mr. D K Shivkumar to relent because they can't go ahead with the decision uh, with his uh, uh, with him uh, you know not agreeing uh, to this current formula, deputy chief minister or not, and then whatever the uh, plum portfolios that he gets, these are issues that have to be uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know put in perspective. Just to make one more point clear, there are only two of them, none of the no other uh, uh, people who are in in the contest for the top job, and we'll have to wait and see. How they, you know, accommodate the Lingayas, the Dalits, the various other factions uh, within within the Karnataka, uh, who all have to be represented in that state uh, right. if they have to be in the reckoning for the 2024, because that's the most uppermost uh, thing in the Congress leadership's uh, mind uh, to go from one uh, to a much more respectable figure, uh, because there are 28 Lok Sabha seats. Uh, which are in no, contest so in the... In key for 2024. So I want to bring uh, Ankit in on that because Ankit, of course, really when we're talking about the high command, now that is a slightly larger than it normally is because, of course, you've got Mr. Kharge as a Congress president carrying a lot of weight because it's his home state. He's a stalwart here, knows the state uh, uh, like the back of his hand. You also have Rahul Gandhi and uh, his advisors and the key strategist uh, also uh, who helped them in the elections. And you also have Sonia Gandhi. And you notice that DK Shivkumar has kept taking her name, that Sonia Gandhi, had, I promised Sonia Gandhi, this win is for Sonia Gandhi. So what is the, and Randeep Surjivala, of course, the General Secretary of the State, with his opinion. So what are the various views being formed? And obviously the Congress being very clear, they want a consensus. They're saying it's only been two days. So, you know, many parties have taken much longer. There's no hurry, but we want a consensus on the next Chief Minister. I think that's very important for the Congress party uh, to send across a message that everybody is on board. They do not want, after a massive mandate, uh, already murmurs about the dissent in the Congress party, as you were talking about the Congress leadership as well. And this tells you how complex this entire exercise is, because even within the uh, top brass of the Congress party, what sources are telling us that Mr. Rahul Gandhi and KC Venugopal uh, did reiterate in the meeting with Mr. Malikarjun Kharge that uh, the norm is that whosoever has the maximum support of the MLA should be made the chief minister and they were indicating or leaning towards Mr. Siddharamaya. Meanwhile, the Congress president himself uh, enjoys a much better relationship as far as DK Shivkumar is concerned. So that consideration, his relationship with Siddharamaya, because remember, both of them at one point of time were contemporaries, were competitors for the top job in uh, Karnataka. And uh, it was at one junction in 2013 that Mr. Siddharamaya edged Mr. Kharge out of that race of the chief ministership. Meanwhile, Sonia Gandhi is seen as somebody uh, who, who has, who has a real liking as far as the functioning and the way Mr. D.K. Shivkumar has worked. Mr. Shivkumar keeps talking about the blessing that he has of Ms. Sonia Gandhi. So all those factors and factors will be taken in account. Randeep Singh Surjewala, we have been told in a meeting when he was asked, has uh, so far not put his uh, stamp of approval or weight behind uh, either Mr. Shivkumar or Mr. Siddharamaya. He stands uh, neutral as far as the Congress uh, leadership is concerned. So within the Congress leadership as well, there are divergent views and now the party and Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Malikarjun Kharge, uh, that, that is where his job is, uh, you know, slightly difficult and a task cut out. He has to manage and find a balance between the aspirations and, of course, the most immediate factor, the future of the Congress party in the state of Karnataka. As Sunil was saying, the sixth largest chunk of the Lok Sabha votes come from Karnataka, where Congress only has one sitting MP, that is the, chief, uh, that is the brother of Mr. D.K. Shivkumar.